Okay, so here's my issue. Um, one, you're flying around the country, you're not wearing a mask. Two, your supporters aren't wearing a mask. Three, you keep perpetuating this bullshit. Um, well, if we test, if we, if we test more, there's going to be more cases. If you test more, there's going to be more cases? Really? Like somehow or another, the testing causes more cases of COVID-19? You really are a special kind of stupid. And if you believe this president, you're sincerely stupid. Sincerely dumber than a box of goddamn rocks. You keep posting this crap on CBS and NBC and ABC. Hell, for one week you did it every day. You had some kind of news briefing you had to have in the White House. Because somehow or another, you just had to get your news out. Propagating your bullshit. About how such a great job you're doing. Today, you interrupted television. Because that's all we got right now. But you interrupted television to talk more bullshit about how great you're doing with COVID-19. And about... You know, giving congratulations to the Congo for them finally getting rid of Ebola. Do what? Okay, so first off, let's make sure we got it clear. 125,000 Ameri 125, Americans dead. 125,000 Americans dead. Triple of any other country in the world, including China and Russia. Triple of any other country in the world. Why? Because of the idiot in the White House decided that he wasn't going to do squat until three months after they knew about this shit. Now you're talking about how great of a job you're doing? Meanwhile, you're killing the economy because you're a goddamn idiot. And everybody who got, and everybody who follows you, your cult, your base, are dumber than a box of rocks. can't wait till November. I cannot wait until November when I can cast my vote. Hell, everybody likes to talk about Biden is this and Biden is that. Guess what? He's 110 times better than fucking Trump will ever be. And two, I would vote for a chimp. Hell, I'd vote for my neighbor's cat over goddamn Donald Trump. Period. So, you know, have a nice day. Stay safe. Whatever you do, stay away from Trump supporters because they're walking around spreading this shit like there's no tomorrow. Oh, and wait a minute before anybody brings it up. Oh, but what about the rioters and the Antifa? Okay, first off, before you talk about Antifa, um, especially if you're a veteran, um, if you're a U.S. military veteran, you were Antifa, you moron. Learn what the fuck it means. Um, but in between time, um, the funny thing is, is the people that were out there protesting and rioting, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing how many of them were wearing masks. They were wearing masks and, and wearing gloves. It, absolutely amazing. As opposed to the morons going to a Trump rally and all smushing up against each other because they got to see their, they have to see their God. No masks, no gloves, no testing, no, you know, the little thermometer on the forehead shit. None of that. And on top of it, had to sign a waiver saying that they wouldn't sue Trump if they caught the virus. How could you catch the virus? The virus is a hoax. So if the White House and Donald Trump, that was kind of messed up, if Donald Trump and the White House think that the virus is a hoax and it's all this great big conspiracy from the libs, if that's the case, why would you have to sign a waiver? <laughs> Stay safe and oh, 
bless my country because a third of the population are true idiots. And we all know who they are because they all wear red MAGA hats. Peace.